Fatality. What's going on, video game voter Vanguard? So the recent years, um, there has been a development of all these um, retro, but also updated and renovated arcade machines that's coming in miniature sizes, uh, four footers, and stuff like that. Most notably and probably the most popular are the arcade one-up machines. They got all kinds of ones out now. They started with Asteroids, um, Final Fight, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. Most recently, the Marvel Super Heroes one. I believe they got a Star Wars machine coming out soon. So, I jumped on the bandwagon about six months ago. I've yet to do a review. I picked up an Asteroids cab while I was on vacation at a Walmart and it was on sale for $75. So, I picked it up. And not too long before that, I also picked up a arcade console which is called the Pandora's Box, and I got the 4S model. I'm sure you guys are quite familiar with that. So I had a dilemma where I wanted to put my arcade or my Pandora's Box in some sort of cab or either custom make one or something like that. So find out what I did to merge my Pandora's Box 4S with my arcade one-up machine. So sit back, subscribe, catch the vibe, and find out how I merged my arcade one-up machine with my Pandora's Box 4S. Right here. All right, guys. So here's my RK One Up machine. I have the Asteroids box. Just want to give y'all a quick overview. Here's the side of the cab. I also installed the riser down here. Adds a couple feet on there. And that basically brings that up to perfect height. So you guys see the cab. I got the cab $75. So I really at first didn't want to alter the cab. But I decided, you know, I also picked up. This is a Pandora's Box 4S. Now this is a uh, home arcade console with over a thousand games built in. And it has a real arcade feel. It's got the sticks, the buttons. Nice, uh, actually start of the game. Um, very arcade-like feel. Um, so I decided to install this and have a cab because people make custom cabs, but they're kind of on the expensive side. And I figured um, it only came with the uh, Asteroids, Arcade 1-Up only came with Asteroids, Major Havoc, Lunar Ladder, and Tempest, which these games are kind of before my time. Um, no disrespect at all, but I, I figured, you know, with the heck, 75 bucks, I'd rather, you know, make something uh more worth my while and you know basically have a you know a home for my pandora's box so i've seen a lot of uh facebook groups devoted to the arcade one up and they were doing mods and stuff so i decided why not take a crack at it and if you look right over here that's my old one and that's the old pad and i got plans for that and that'll be in a future video so Let's get to the mods. So I've removed the screen out of there and I put in a 19 inch Dynex HDTV. I believe it's only 720 maybe, maybe 1080. Um, <clears throat> I picked this up off of uh, offer up for like 20 bucks. And what I actually had planned, I was actually gonna use this uh, dresser here that I keep uh, games and my wires for my consoles and stuff like that in there. I was gonna mount the TV to the top of that and kind of make that a console, but I decided not to do that and I decided to do this so what I did was I took the Pandora's box and if you can see the side if you look right up there I had some brackets made at work and I took the screws out of the side there um that's in the Pandora's box itself which is this top bolt um I used those I got these brackets made at work and I put the screws in there so it attaches the box and did some self tapping screws right there and drilled it to the side of the cab so that it stays sturdy and i also did two on the other side the front and the back sorry for the shake that backlash came out but it is absolutely sturdy and you can get some good gameplay so all in all it looks like a real um arcade cab in my opinion and after i did that um the original rk one up stands about four feet tall so it's a little on short end but when you put that rise on at the bottom here that made it complete so it's at perfect size so let's just look at the rk one up game see what we got on here metal slug got some king of fighters snk versus capcom 
X Men, X Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, Slam Masters, Vampire Savior, which is Dark Stalkers uh, sequel, I believe. Uh, Pocket Fighter, Street Fighter Alpha, Vampire Hunter, which is another um, Dark Stalkers, Jackie Chan, which is a fighting game, which is super awesome. And like I said, it's got close to a thousand games. Golden Axe, all the classics, man. Ghouls and Ghosts, Dungeons and Dragons 1 and 2. Um, got Mega Man, Sailor Moon, got some Dragon Ball Z on here. Um, the original, original X-Men. And if you guys have been to MAGFest, then you guys know what's up with, uh, forget his name, on the X-Men game, Colossus. Um, <laughs> we might get that in the video. Uh, Super Mario Brothers, all the Metal Slugs, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, you got the Michael Jackson uh, Moonwalker game is on here. And I mean, this thing is loads of fun. I picked up this Pandora's box. Um, I got mine off of Amazon. I believe it was like two, about 200, maybe a little less. It was when I had surgery on my back last year. And I knew I was going to be home for a while. So I decided to pick this up because, I mean, with almost a thousand games, it's all clearly impossible to get bored with these many games all in one place. And this is uh, the original Street Fighter. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. Uh, Samurai Showdown, Fatal Fury. I mean, as you can see, the list just goes on and on. Um, so, we're going to get to some gameplay. We'll All right, guys, we're back. So we're going to get into some gameplay. Um, I also want to note that I installed a Bluetooth speaker inside the cab. Um, it's a kicker, and I got it um, wired to the Pandora's box via auxiliary um, cable. Um, I don't have that plugged into the wall. It's only two outlets over here. So figure I didn't do it out and I think it'll honestly be overwhelming for the camera, for the video. So we just gonna check out some gameplay of the Pandora's box. Let's go some more versus Capcom. Let's turn the volume up on the TV itself. Maybe it's on the TV. Still kind of low. Get some Chum League, get some Ryu. Trying to find a value button on the Pandora's box. Don't worry about it. Like I said, it has the real arcade feel. And you can actually swap out these uh, sticks and buttons as well. I've seen a lot of people do like LED lights and stuff like that. But um, as far as the TV is concerned, how I got it mounted in there, um, the original screen itself just had screws to the outside of the cab there. And um, basically what I did, I got Ryu by the way. So basically what I did was I removed the screen out of there and what I did was I took the brackets from like the wall mount for a regular TV wall mount. I attached them to the back of the TV itself and then I basically just used screws and mounted it to the cardboard in the back and only thing it was a small gap between here and the uh, monitor itself and what I basically did was I um I uh, just sticker bombed it. If I had known it was going to be that gap, instead of me taking it back apart, I just sticker bombed it. I would have done whatever I had to do beforehand. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, so after that, we're going to get to some more gameplay and I'm going to explain uh, other things that I did to make this mod possible. All 
All right, guys, back. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, I installed that monitor there, and I ran it through HDMI cable from the Pandora's box to the monitor. So, uh, that's basically how I got that in there. And actually, the back of the monitor sits flush on the opening for the original uh, monitor that came with it. So, it kind of sat in there good, but I wanted to make sure it's secure. I don't plan on doing a whole lot of rocking moving, so, I mean, it's like that. It's a little movement, but the brackets are still there at the top and the bottom. So clearly it's not going anywhere. So let's check out some other gameplay. Let's do some other uh, classics here. That Jackie Chan game. If you guys never played that, it's nice. I don't even know if we got that game in the States, but that's pretty cool. I thought this was the weirdest title show game ever. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Like some hood stuff or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's just a abundance of games on here, man. You could really sit here and have a blast. Let's do some Metal Slug. Let's see if I can find my volume button. Everything looks and plays well on this Pandora. There we go. The Pandora's box looks and plays well. Very good graphics. Listen, one. Actually, sad enough, the first time I think I played this was on this Pandora's box. But better late than never, this game is absolutely a blast. And as you see, man, the graphics are fantastic. Alright, let's try something else. I just want to give y'all, you know, just some different games. Y'all, this is a classic game. They actually got this cab coming out soon from Pandora's Box. I mean, not Pandora's Box, RK1 album, sorry. Let it go! Well, actually, Michelangelo was my favorite as a kid. Get y'all some Turtles gameplay. April O'Neil. Kick the Foot Clan's butt. Cowabunga, dude. Guys, no, you had to have that pizza. Turtles fan like I was coming up. Turtles were an absolute phenomenon. They had music, videos, well, cassettes at that time. Probably the best uh, cartoon, most popular cartoon. Bad voice acting. <laughs> Crane back there. You guys remember Crane? Crane had that little alien thing in the middle of his stomach. The weirdest freaking guy ever. Uh, Wonder Boy 3. Not sure what that is. Got Hyper Street Fighter, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. All, like, probably every Street Fighter you can imagine is on there. Samurai Showdown, Fatal Fury. Alright, uh, let me just give y'all something a little different. Got Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z 2. R type. A couple shooters on there. 1945. Let's get y'all a little bit of that. Strike 1945. These games look and play great. Got the real arcade feel. 
And a shout out to Metal Jesus. Honest truth. That guy really got me into shooters. I really enjoy him now. It was never my cup of tea. Not that uh was anything wrong with him. I was real heavy in the sports games. A lot of times people around you is what encourage what you play. Especially when you're picking your consoles out and stuff like that. But yeah, this plays is great. Basically, it's uh RK one up. Pandora's box combination is real heavy in the uh, community. It basically gives you a feel of you got you know you got your arc you got your own arcade machine in your house, and then to have this many games, man, it's just incredible. I was so happy. It's perfect hype, and I'm actually sitting on a stool right now playing this, which is very cool. And it's like, like I said, it's it's like perfect, perfect hype and everything. Soccer game, there's all kind of stuff on here, man. Baseball, 2020 baseball, Neil Turf Masters, um, Solitary Fighter, whatever this is. Looks kind of awesome, though. Um, it's got um, Dr. Mario's here. Uh, Pac Man, of course. Had to add Pac Man. Uh, I believe Frogger is on here. Uh, let's see. Champions got boxing game, rim rock and basketball, Capcom World. Let's see what else? Uh, Puzzle Fighter. You guys, remember that? It's like the mini Street Fighter people. It's like when you do the puzzle side, um, it does a uh, action motion with the characters. Pocket Fighter is also on here, which is like the Kitty version of Street Fighter. Got a uh, Super Bubble Bobble. Let's see what else I'm gonna show. Of course, Galaga. Got Donkey Kong 3 and Junior. Centipede, Dig Dug. Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's check out some Sonic on Arcade. I actually had no idea. I guess I should have known, but. I actually never seen a Sonic the Hedgehog arcade game in person. Sometimes the games take a little while to load up, but nevertheless. Hey, yeah, this is the first one, like the Master System of Game Gear. And I believe on that one, um, I couldn't do the spin startup. You guys can remember if anybody out there can remember what uh band that is that normally goes to cons and performs i know that they uh played this uh this song a lot they were at e3 I can't remember the name of them but um they were an awesome band when i saw them at e3 and at magfest i said plays great looks great I wouldn't say that sound is pretty much on par with where it should be. Turn it down a little bit. Felt like it was overwhelming a little, just a little bit. Go back to the menu. Uh, yeah, Mario Brothers. Bomberman is on here. Uh, let's see. There's Frogger, Superman. Um. They got all kinds of stuff, a lot of stuff I've never seen before. But needless to say, man, uh, King of Fighters 97, 98, 2000, 2001, 2, and 3. King of Fighters 10th, the unique second, Capcom, uh, SK vs. Capcom 2. Man, King of Gladiator, all those King of Fighters, more Metal, uh, metal Slug, a bunch of Street Fighters, Marvel vs. Capcom, Slam Master. So this actually has 800. So I exaggerate a little bit. I apologize. I thought it was close to 1,000, but either way, I mean 800 games. You ain't getting bored no time soon. 
Ghosts and Goblins, Kung Fu Master, Super Pac Man, Millipede, Miss Pac Man. Um, give y'all one more game to show y'all some gameplay of this. Um, Column Super Volleyball, we got Tetris. Which I never knew that they actually had an arcade game for. They got, uh, I believe, Super Dodgeballs on here, I think. Uh, Bomberman World. Classic game. Super Sidekicks 1, 2, and 3. Vapor Trail. Nostradamus. Kingdom Grand Prix. Strikers, Raiden, Mega Blast. Mystic Warriors, Mystic Riders, I met. This is actually a really cool looking game. Let me show you all this. Um, but I think 19 inch fits well. Uh, as far as like the diameter going inside there, that's perfect. And I mean, I guess if you find something to close out these gaps, I don't have any complaints. I mean, it doesn't bother me the way it sits play this play a little bit of this mystic riders I came across this I still um, finding games on this Pandora's box because there's so many but I remember just one day uh, especially after I did the mod I'll just sit and go through games and just check them out you know so I really enjoy that Definitely a classic arcade style game, man. And I believe they got another version of this. So that's Mystic Riders. Um, Arrow Fighters. And Dragon Ball Z, I said before. Power Instinct. Samurai Showdown. Let's go Samurai Showdown 4. See if I can find Mario Brothers to show y'all. That's uh, show you a little Mega Man. Why not? A lot of people complain about the intro to this thing, <laughs> about the music. Um, a lot of people don't like it. Think it's annoying. I mean, I guess, but whatever. I didn't make it, so not much I can say. Made Mega sound like a girl when he takes hits on here. So that's Mega Man. I don't know if that's the very first one or not. Can't really tell. Um, all right, this will be the last one. Super Mario Brothers Classic. Uh, the one time I saw this in the arcade was actually at MAGFest last year. Or top of this year, I should say. Like I said, some games take a little while to load up. Not a big deal. 
There's no lag at all with the game or any of the games whatsoever. The good thing about this versus the arcade, that's kind of like a pause button. I just want to turn the volume up a little bit on here. I say these games play great and they look really good too. So that's Super Mario Brothers. So um, let me know down in the comment section if you guys have an arcade one up or if you have a Pandora's box or if you're interested in getting one. Uh, they got different models. I think they're up to maybe six or seven. This is the 4S, which is four special. Um, they have ones I've seen with the, um, with the Street Fighter decal on here. This is just basically like a red and blue flame. I don't know, it's pretty cool. But I like what I did with it, I like the mod. So let me know down in the comment section if you guys have an RK1 up or if you have a Pandora's box or something that you're interested in picking up. Let me know if you guys like what I did with the machine here. Uh, so this is your boy, the Video Game Votary, signing off. Thank you for the continued support. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, also hit the follow button on all social media, including Twitch, where we do a live stream each and every week. And uh, I like to include... Um, the public and the fans and subscribers let me know what you guys want me to review um any products you want me to review and stuff like that just let me know in the comments below so take care sign it off cast survive hit subscribe it's the video game voter we out fatality